When it comes to social media posting, is there a scheduling tool I recommend for scheduling your posts to go out to the various social platforms in advance? All right. Well, my guidance up to more recently has been, you know, don't use any third-party tools because um, the uh, the algorithm tends to notice that it's being scheduled by third-party tool and it gives you like a little tag, like scheduled by Hootsuite or scheduled by Buffer or something like that, which tends to decrease the engagement of your posts. Um, now, I'm not sure that's true anymore because I have not been seeing the posted by Buffer, posted by Hootsuite, or maybe it's because they bury all of them. I don't know. But I don't know if any of you have noticed the posted by Buffer, posted by Hootsuite kind of thing on social media. I haven't noticed it in recent months. So maybe they took that out. And so if that's the case, then I am now saying, okay, I'm going to revise my original guidance of not doing it because now they've made some changes. And I think it's okay to use something like Buffer. Buffer is a popular one. Uh, Buffer.app, I think it is. Uh, Buffer. Bufferapp.com. Bufferapp.com or Hootsuite, which I think is more expensive. Um, I haven't looked at the pricing recently. Those are the two old school originals, which I think are still quite doing quite well. I'm sure there are a dozen other good social media scheduling tools that some of you watching this are using. And so please comment below. If you use a social media third-party scheduling tool like a Buffer or Hootsuite or a you know, co-schedule or there's a bunch of on ones, right? Recur post, there's a bunch of them. Please comment below, which one do you love? Especially if you've been using it for months, if you're using it for at least three months and you've noticed it has not decreased your, your um, social media visibility on your post uh, reach, let us know. I'd love to know, uh, because like I said, I do it the old school way. I do it my, I do it through, if I'm writing a Facebook post, if I, even if I'm scheduling it, I'll do it through the what's now called the Meta Creator Studio or Meta Business Suite or whatever it is called these days. I use the official tools from the platforms themselves to schedule. If I'm scheduling a LinkedIn post, I use LinkedIn to schedule it. If I'm scheduling a, you know, I don't know if Twitter can schedule, but uh, anyway, um, YouTube obviously can schedule, you know, upload a video and schedule it for several days from now. So I right now am still using the platforms themselves to schedule because of the original, you know, effect of how the algorithm depresses those the visibility of those posts. Um, so I'm kind of old school that way, but now it's time to look at the new tools soon before long AI will be taking over a lot of this in terms of the, the scheduling tools and even the creation of the posts, which, you know, concerns me of the authenticity originality, but anyway, this is my call to action for you to comment below. Those of you who are using those tools and really liking them, comment below with your experience. Thanks. And I'll add one more thing. Whenever you use these tools, they usually, again, I haven't looked at these tools for a while, but let's say I'm, I'm making a post and I want to go on Facebook and Instagram and you know LinkedIn and YouTube and Twitter, whatever, okay? They usually allow you to customize like, yes, I'm gonna, we're, we're going to make this post for you everywhere, but if you want to, you can customize how it looks on Facebook versus how it looks on Instagram versus how it looks on LinkedIn or whatever it is. And you might want to consider customizing a little bit, meaning that each of these platforms has a different feel to it, has a different etiquette. For example, um, I, don't use, um, I don't use hashtags on Instagram. That's a whole other topic. Please don't ask me about that right now. But uh, that's a whole other topic because of bots and because of you know the, the questionable uh, effectiveness of it. But hashtags on LinkedIn are are more effective in my opinion and experience. And so it's like if I were putting a post on both Instagram and LinkedIn, I would not use hashtags on Instagram, for example. But I would customize a LinkedIn post to use just one to three hashtags that I've researched and you know whatever. So um, I talk about hashtags, if you're curious, and I brought it up. I talk about Instagram hashtags and how to truly use them well in my Instagram course. And of course, in my LinkedIn course, I talk about LinkedIn hashtags. But generally speaking, what I'm trying to say is the ability to customize for each of these platforms is very helpful. I hope whatever tool you're using the schedule does allow you to customize in case you want to. So I hope that helps.